So it just seemed like something we all need in our life, which is this kind of pond full of, full of these fish. And when you put your finger in, it tells you what your soul actually is wishing, right? Because sometimes we don't know what we need and what we want. You know, I didn't know I, I wanted to be a novelist until I actually started and then realized it's what I always wanted to be and wanted to do. I just couldn't admit it to myself. Well, I just wanted to start off by asking, um, I mean, what was your reaction when you found out your book was going to be adapted into a movie? You know, you don't really believe it until it's actually on the screen because you're so used to the fact that you're writing it so it exists in people's imaginations. That to me is the movie screen, right? It's everybody's imagination. So then to have it for real, not until it's actually there and you're watching it, are you like, wait, this is actually happening, you know? So I think that's what was so mind blowing is that ultimately when I sat there in a theater and watched it for the first time, um, I it, it felt like I could see a projection onto, an imagination projected onto a screen. How involved did you get to be with the, with the making of the film? Did you get a say in the casting? Did you get to help the director? I was pretty involved all the way along. I think in this case, because I was very sort of firm about the fact that most adaptations of fantasy fail because they sort of go far off track and or they aren't done in a way that really captures the essence of a book and from the beginning over the last 10 years really have have sort of been there to make sure that it fit the core and essence of the material but then you have a great director like Paul Feig who is able to interpret it and bring his own particular brand and vision to it and he's so collaborative and great that it made things very easy we were just sort of on the same frequency from the beginning well the um the friendship is a very important part of his story and i mean there's several different characters and what was there one in particular or was there a scene um that you felt was really important be adapted from the book into the movie like I would like this not to change. <laughs> I think the wish fish scene, maybe. I felt like that was such an iconic scene in the book and one that everybody held very close to, you know, because it's where you learn about Agatha's desire and empathy and the fact that she can't help but want to help people. And that's such an essential part of her character. So I feel like that wish fish scene. And also it just seemed like something we all need in our life, which is this kind of pond full of, full of these fish. And when you put your finger in, it tells you what your soul actually is wishing, right? Because sometimes we don't know what we need and what we want. You know, I didn't know I, I wanted to be a novelist until I actually started and then realized it's what I always wanted to be and wanted to do. I just couldn't admit it to myself. So I feel like Wish Fish would be useful in all of our lives to getting us back on track. Well, I know it's probably hard for you to choose, but do you have a favorite character from your book slash movie? <laughs> oh, Sophie, I think. So Sophie to me is reminds me of myself in a lot of ways, which is, which is that sort of blind kind of Madonna-esque blonde ambition uh, that you sort of pursue, you know, full on force, but sometimes go too far in the wrong direction. So I love Sophie. I just think it's um, a female character we've never seen before. Awesome. I am going to have to wrap, but thank you so much for chatting with me about this film, this book. I really enjoyed the movie. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Well, thank you.